What's up team? So like the title says, this is the ultimate Volvo restoration, at least for modern Volvos in my opinion. And this car caught my eye at the 2021 SEMA show in Las Vegas, but it caught my eye before it was on display. This is the one picture I was able to take while it drove past me on Monday, which is the day before the show. And I took the picture not because I thought it would be a good picture, but to remind myself to find the car before the week was out. And as you probably guessed it, I did. And I was able to speak to some of the builders about the car. So I'll let them give you some background on the vehicle. And fair warning, there is a lot of talking, drifting, and revving going on all day. So there is some background noise. Hey there guys, my name's Ashton. My name's Bennett. I'm Spencer. Um, we're here with Rebuilding Generations. We're a youth organization out of Boise, Idaho. Um, here we have our Volvo 780 Coupe. It's a 1990. It's a concept car from Volvo. Um, uh, yeah, this is our build for SEMA this year. We put about two years effort into this car. Um, it's got an amazing story. It's a one-off car. Um, it was built for the 1990 New York Auto Show uh, to, for Volvo to compete in the American market. Um, so it's got custom wheels, custom body kit, um, only set in the world as far as we know. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been an amazing experience to get this car out here. Um, we spent a lot of time on it. It's uh, been an amazing experience. We're super happy to be here. This is uh, this car has had a pretty long history. After that uh, show in 1990, it was uh, in a warehouse for about 10 years, and then eventually it was sold off to the general public. And unfortunately, no one really knew what it was. So uh, it went through about six owners, and in that time, it went all over the U.S. and uh, ended up by the coast in California. And uh, unfortunately, ended up with a lot of rust and a lot of damage to the body kit, the paint, um, this beautiful pearl paint. And so, uh, yeah, we we spent a lot of a lot of time, about two years, putting this thing back together to its former glory, so we can uh, bring it back to show to all of you guys. So let's pause for a second and unpack what was said. This vehicle is a concept car built by Volvo to showcase at the 1990 New York International Car Show, meaning it's the only one of its kind that we know of. And on top of that, it has one off paint, wheels, and a body kit. It took two years for their team to build this car, and you will see later in the video that they used that time very effectively. We've had the car for about two and a half years now, I think, is when uh, we found it at an impound lot and have just sort of started making it our project. We found the wheels, actually, cool story, a uh, year before uh, we even found the car. So we were able to kind of put the two together and complete the original model. So just pure luck. So we found the wheels first and then the car. Yeah, yes. That is a crazy thing. Yeah, they were, on a, they were actually on a forum. Um, his dad, the owner of the car, uh, found him on a forum. Some guy was selling them and was like, I, I don't know where the car is, um, but I have the wheels. I found them. So if you have any information on the car. And uh, so Davey's the owner. Um, amazing guy, amazing Volvo guy. Um, he managed to get the wheels off of him because he's been searching for the car for a long time. And then when he found the car, he reunited them. Um, so it's just a fantastic story. One of the really cool things about this car is the pearl paint that was completely custom to this car. Volvo decided to make a completely different color for this car to really stand out at the New York Auto Show. So in the sunlight, this car completely shines compared to any other car. The pearlescent color, it took so many different layers of primer, clear coat paint to get the right color. One really cool thing about matching this paint to the original was that behind the rear tail light was the original color because it never really was seen, the sun never really was shining on it. So that was really cool. We were able to copy that and uh, spray it all over the car. Really fun and enjoyed painting it. While I was making this video, I went to their website and read about everything that they've done. And let me tell you, what you just heard was the abbreviated version. This car was completely stripped down and before the paint went on, major effort went into removing all the rust. The bottom end and interior was stripped and resealed Every millimeter of dirt and debris was removed from the shell. And get this, the roof was cut off and replaced from a donor car because decades of sitting caused water to rot the roof. It's pretty crazy. So now let's talk about the body kit and interior. Yeah, so one really cool thing about this car and the whole concept part of it is that the ACS, which is the American company, actually made the full custom body kit. No other car has the same body kit. Well, because over the years this thing was driven by six different owners, some of the parts fell off. So including this trim piece right here actually fell off. But luckily the other side had the same trim piece. So we actually had a 3D artist designer um, completely redesigned this piece and he 3D printed 
this piece and the other piece so that they're a lot lighter. We had these two pieces 3D printed as well as the rear, rear spoiler because over time the Bondo and everything kind of became into a different like form into a different shape which just isn't great for like trying to recreate the full restoration of the car. So we had this 3D printed. It looks brand new, super awesome and it's really light so the car can perform a lot better. Okay, so the original interior uh, was in pretty good shape, uh, all things considered. We found it um, at the salvage yard with a lot of tint on the windows, and so the interior wasn't in too bad of condition. Uh, one thing we did have to do was respray the interior with uh, multiple, I think, multiple levels of uh, paint and... Yeah, so we used a lot of layers of different dye with the airbrush, which, I mean, I didn't... I tried it many different times, different types of airbrushes. I didn't get exact like the type of best way of doing it, but it, in the end, we got a really good product. Um, thanks to all the sponsors, some of them gave us the correct dye and all that. So it was in the end, we got a really good finish. So uh, thanks to all of them. So this is not the original engine from the car, but it has the same model and everything. It's from '93. I'm pretty sure the engine, the actual car is in '89, but. It has everything stock on it, pretty much stock turbo, but it was completely rebuilt. It was in the engine shop for about two years, but um, built interior or the engine, like the piston, everything, all of that, um, those are built parts, but it's been all redone, some exterior parts repainted. So it really looks brand new, pretty much like factory besides the valve cover, which we did a little custom Volvo in the same pearlescent color as the whole. Um, exterior uh, of the car. So, so the Volvo is seen pearl as the rest of the car. Yeah, yeah. So in the sunlight, you can see the little blue cue that it uh, shows. So yeah, it's really cool. So Rebuilding Generations is sort of a youth ministry program where uh, we take some really experienced older gentlemen and uh, they are able to mentor and teach us younger uh, generation, the next generation. And um, it's just a super fun time. We meet uh, every Tuesday night, sometimes more, depending on crunch time for different projects. And we just get stuff done. We work on all sorts of cars and we like to take a car each year to SEMA. For now, we're based in Idaho. We have a couple of different chapters uh, around the Boise area. Um, so yeah, we're looking to do more projects in the future. Um, yeah, so once again, if you have any questions about the program, feel free to follow us at Rebuilding Generations. Um, we can answer any questions that you have. Uh, you can DM us or anything, or you can check out our website, which is also at RebuildingGenerations.com. We just want to give a huge shout to our sponsors, uh, Optima and Falcon. They're the reason we get to be here at SEMA. We're super grateful for everything that they've given us. Um, and then a huge thank you as well to Hemmings for doing the spread in their magazine. Uh, if you want to check that out, you can um, see the full story on the car, as well as uh, IPD for giving us such, some great parts and uh, supporting us through this build. And, uh, have a good yeah, so if you have any questions, want to learn about the build, you can follow us at 780 Concept Coupe on Instagram. And if you want to learn more about our youth organization and what we do, uh, follow us at Rebuilding Generations on all of our social media. Um, yeah, thank you very much. So I hope you enjoy the build and the video. I found their build and organization very inspiring. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Rocking Uploads, where our goal is to never stop learning. Remember to stay tuned, and thanks for watching.